Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Pokewix channel where today we have a little bit of a different video for you. I recently entered a giveaway on Instagram from a lovely, lovely content creator called Pokemon Archive underscore. I'll leave his links and details in the description below. Um, and I actually won the giveaway, which is unusual for me because I win nothing most of the times. Um, so I thought we'd just sort of break down, see what we actually get from the giveaway. The main part of it is a box, a collector's box, which we'll see shortly. But we did have some additionals with it as well. The first being a original Wizard of the Coast Mistivus card. Now, it looks in really, really good condition. It is sealed away in the card protector. I'm probably going to keep it there. It's not often that you see many of these Wizards of the Coast promo cards about. So that was the first card that we got. The second card that we did get was the Mewtwo from Shining Legends. Again, another another great card. Not a set that you see too often. Shining Legends is one that I have wanted to open for a little while. But we have now got a Minty Mewtwo, which is amazing. Great. One of the good cards from that set. And one thing that I will be keeping sealed, because I have very little Japanese product, it is a booster pack from the Detective Pikachu film itself from Japan. And I know there's one sort of card that you can get in here that uh, you can't get in the actual English set. So I wonder whether the price might skyrocket on this. It's not something that I'll be adding to a collection, but it is something that I thought, you know what, let's keep it sealed and let's see where it goes. But the main thing that we do have and the thing that we'll be breaking down today is a Kingdra EX box. Now it is one which has got some of the older sets in there. We've got a Breakpoint set in there cards. Something I really, really want to open up because I'm so close to finishing that set. We've got a Steam Siege. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I'm not too averse to that. Uh, we've got a Sun and Moon and then the XY Fates Collide. So... I'll break down the box and with the click of my fingers, we'll be back. So guys, with the box now broken down, we will just start with the contents. We've got the four packs in front of us. We then also have the small promo card of the Kingdra GEX itself. I'm not actually too sure if it is a promo card. It doesn't have the usual promo, promo symbols in the bottom corner. Um, it does seem to be that it is from a specific set. So it's going to be something that I will research and obviously just pop into the video. Uh, again, nice little minty sort of uh, card itself. It's slightly bent, but nothing too mad. And then, of course, we do have the full big jumbo version of the card again itself. Again, something that I like to keep hold of. Um, I like the big, big jumbo cards, but, you know, it's not something that I would collect religiously. So we pop these off down to the side here. Um, we are then going to get into the pack. So we will see that we do have a Steam Siege, a Breakpoint, a Sun and Moon, and an XY Fates Collide. Now the way that we're going to sort of break this down is I'm going to leave the Breakpoint one to last because that is one major set that we do want. And we will start off with the Steam Siege pack. As I say, this, uh, this set gets a lot of hate. Um, online I, I'm not too adverse to it myself but I can see why people don't like it it doesn't have the greatest pull ratios uh, again with a green code card there uh, XY sets with three from the back but um, it's not the most terrible set in the world I've never seen so we start off with a ninja boy an Asmaril the dual split cards I actually really like these dual split cards um, it's not something that you see too often. Um, something nice, something different. A Greedy Dice, a Ponytar, a Maril, a Litleo, a Rufflet, a Fongoose. The reverse is an Anorich. And a Cloitzer at the back is the regular rare. Started off then with the XY pack, um, Steam Siege. We will now go to the base set Sun and Moon, which I do need to remember is now four from the back. I do always forget. And then this one, code is the opposite way around on these. So we are going to kind of go in in the dark on this one here and just see what we get. Got my favorite, Metal Type Energy. Always got to keep rocking. 
uh, Ball Door, Great Ball, Sandy Gast, an Eevee, Crabrawler, Marnie, and the Lolan Diglett. It's not quite as crazy as the Alolan Dog Trio with the, the wigs, but yeah, it's got the little yellow spike. Scoutland, reverse, and oh my god, it's a rainbow rare, it's a Taurus, and it's upside down. <laughs> now that's not something that you see every day. Ow. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus here. That's insane, it's a rubber rainbow rare. It's only the second rainbow rare that I've packed. Wow, that's that's insane. The flare on it is is actually getting the camera all out of focus. Wow, what a card, what a pack. I don't really know what to say. Wow, I've been caught off guard by that. I was not expecting anything from the base set Sun and Moon. But now to have a rainbow red Taurus, let's have a quick look at the back. Back looks pretty good. A few little waiting marks at the top, which you can probably just see in the corner. And right at the top there. But overall, another booster packed rainbow rare card. So let's move on to the next card itself. I haven't actually brought any uh, sleeves with me today, so that's really, really bad. We will go into an XY Fates Collide. Now this isn't a set that I've broken out too much before. So we'll be hoping for something in these packs. Now again, because we're going back to XY, we need to remember. And the code is the wrong way around again. But it is only three from the back. One, two, three. Now looking at that symbol, I think the actual Kingdra card is going to be from the XY Fates Collide pack set itself. So looking at that one, but we start with the Altira Spirit Link. Chaos Tower. I do love these full card arts, even for the trainers as well. It does look sick. We've then got a Harlucha, a Minchino, a Spoink, a Coughing, a Cottony, a Lavatar, a Reverse Windsor, and an Alakazam EX Full Art Card. Now that looks severely miscut at the front with a massive border one side. Uh, again, from the back, you can see it is majorly, majorly off cut. But what a way pull that is. An Alakazam EX from Fates Collide. So this box so far has given me a rainbow rare and a Full Art EX card, which is one of the secret rares from the Fates Collide set as well. What a box we are opening today, and this is all courtesy of Pokemon Archive underscore on Instagram and me winning that giveaway. What a card. We pop that one off to the side here now as well. So the final pack is the Breakpoint pack. Now, if it was ever going to be a pull in this box, this would be the one that I would want it to be in, because I am missing a few cards from this set. Um, I think I'm missing around about 20. Um, not too many, but still, I think most of those are the actual rares. Now, cards are all pushed down here. And again, the code is the wrong way around, so let's pop that off to the side. One, two, three. I do like the fact of not being able to see what color the codes are and giving a little bit extra on the pack on this one here. So, we start off with a Swanner. We've then got a Heatmore. Sudowoodo. An Esper. Staryu. Blitzel. A Pancham. A Hone Edge. Tyranno as the reverse and a hollow Aglia. I don't think this is a card that I have, which is great. So this will be one that will go straight into the set. It all looks like it is cut very, very nice. 
Yeah, it looks brilliant on the back as well. But yes, that's a great another pull. So the box itself has been absolutely insane. We will get to see all of the pulls in the recap shortly, um, which I'll hit you up in down below. But yeah, uh, what a box to open. Thank you again to Pokemon Archive underscore for the chance of winning this one. A little bit of a different video, but we'll get the recap going now. So we're starting the recap today with the only regular rare that we pulled, and that of course was from Steam Siege, and now I'm starting to see why people don't like the set, and it was a Clawitzer. We move on up to the reverse cards, where we've got a Tyranno, a Scotland, an Anorith, and a Whimsor. We then move up to the holo card that we pulled from the Breakpoint pack, which was the Agalish. And then moving on up, we then have the Tauros GX Rainbow card. And then the Alakazam EX on top of that as well. What a set of packs that was from one box. Thank you again to Pokemon Archive underscore. And uh, I'll make sure that I hit you up with these on the recap as well. Now, we'll see you guys next week for our next pack opening. I think it may even be an ETB, so you guys don't want to miss out on that one. Peace.